Welcome to another episode of the Just RPG Podcast. I'm Vicky, and I'm here with James. Yeah. Yeah. We're here to talk about the Nintendo Switch, which is just announced. Um, well, rumored. Rumored. Sure. I saw announced that they are going to have GameCube games on the Switch. Yep, for the virtual console. So, so far, the rumors are we're going to see Luigi's Mansion. It's pretty mm -hmm. standard. Yep. Uh, Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine, which would be cool. Animal Crossing! Animal Crossing. Which I don't really care about because they, I don't know, I feel like they made the new one so much better if they had put yeah. that on it. Yeah, and I think it was one more. No, I don't know. Wait. Um. I can summon my phone and <laughs> we can look. <laughs> well, either way, that's kind of like the, the base. Um, so what do you think of those games? I'm excited. Uh, I played all these games when they first mm -hmm. came out. Like, I remember just buying the GameCube, and I had all of those. I think Mario Sunshine was, like, one of the first things to come out on the Sounds GameCube. Sounds right. Yeah, I don't remember exactly. And I think the Luigi's Mansion was very, very yeah, early that on upon the launch. Yep, I bought that, too. I loved that game, and I was so excited. I have played. never played Luigi's Mansion. What? For GameCube. I am so I'm sorry to say. What did you play it on the DS at least? I bought it for three D S. Okay. I played it for ten minutes and I never played it. Wow. Well. <sighs> but I have it. Wow. Well. Um someone helped this trial. But that's kind of like a fan favorite. It is. It was so, great. So I guess that's good. And I don't see any problems with porting it to the Switch. I mean, you have Weegee in a game. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Weegee. <laughs> Um, Sunshine, I think, is great. Sunshine mm -hmm. is not the most loved, but it has, like, a cult yeah. following that people, you know... It was, like, it was such a random, like, type it was just of different. game that they would put on there. And it's never been poured, it's never been mentioned mm -hmm. since. Yeah. So I think this is good to give it some more exposure. Uh, what games would you like to see? Wait, um, what else did you say? Was on there. We just mentioned. Animal Crossing. Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, Animal Crossing. Yeah. Um, it matters if Animal Crossing is going to get an update in terms of like connectivity to another yes. person's Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. If it's not, and it's truly a port. Yeah, it's cool, but it's a little outdated. And without being be able to connect to the people's stuff, I don't know how appealing it's going to be. But that game has unlockable NES games built oh, into it. Oh my god, yeah. That was the best. Which should still be in it. Mm -hmm. So you could potentially get, uh, I think it was a decent amount too, it was like 5 plus maybe more yeah. um, NES games built into that Animal Crossing. So that <laughs> itself is kind of appealing. Um, I would play that for hours. But yeah, like I said, like part of that was bringing your memory card to your friend's GameCube, plugging it in, and that's how you, like, you got their villagers, and you kind of went to their town. Is that how it what happened? Yeah. So, oh, oh my god, yeah. So I don't know if that's going to be able to translate. If it's not, it's not that appealing, to be honest, because, mm -hmm. like, I just would rather play the latest 3DS one yeah. at that point. But still, still cool, not a bad thing. Um, all right, so what... We'll, we'll start with obvious ones that you think will come out. Paper Mario. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, I think, is destined. Is it that the first one? No, the N64 is the first one. Oh, yeah, you're right. But this one is probably the best one. Mm hmm. And I'm sure everyone has an opinion, but uh, that's definitely. Actually, I don't know if I played the one on the GameCube. No, I didn't play the one on the Wii. Or whatever. Yeah, the Wii was different. This one was like the same as the first one, but updated for the GameCube. So yep. it was very good. Um. I think Double Dash mm -hmm. could be put on there. Um, I also think they could re-release Double Dash as an actual title, like just with an HD version, some more tracks. Yeah. And because that had that two people on one cart, mm -hmm. which I think could work well on the Switch, where you have your Joy Cons coming off, two people. I think I, I'd rather see it in that form. But either way, if it was on there, I think it'd be great because that's one of my favorite ones. Resident Evil 4. Now this one is interesting because it's multi-plats on everything, but yeah. it came out on GameCube first, 
And GameCube's the best version of it. Yeah, that's what I hear from everyone. Yeah, so maybe that's part of, like, GameCube memories. Mm -hmm. And Nintendo and Capcom are still, like, you know, they still do stuff. So maybe that's possible. I don't know how those rights have evolved over the years. I don't know, but uh, that would be cool. Um, you think Metroid will get any love? I think we could see a Prime just virtual console port. Um, maybe even Prime 2. Maybe them bundled or something. Um, I ho I'd rather get a new Metroid game altogether. <laughs> That's not going to happen. They didn't even congratulate her on her 30th birthday. They ignored it. So My poor baby. Um, yeah. Uh, besides that, like obvious ones, um, I think that they'll probably do Fire Emblem Path Radiance. Oh, because yeah. At the time, it was not popular in America at all. Um, the game's very expensive. It was like $100 for the GameCube. Wow, was it? Yep. It, Damn. It is. <laughs> it is $100. So as a collector, in a way, I kind of wish they wouldn't, because I already own it. Yep. But uh, <laughs> to be honest, um, it's now very popular. Mm -hmm. They're making a mobile app based on Fire Emblem. Wow. The, the newest game sold well, sold it well enough to make two versions of it in the first place. Um, the first 3DS one did really well. Very, very good game. Oh, Fates. Uh, Awakening. Awakening. And Fates was the, the, the second. Yep. Awakening was my favorite. But I think that would get, I think people would eat that up. Mm-hmm. And that was a good one. That one has, that one has a character everyone's familiar with, too. Yeah. It's Ike from Smash. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows Ike. So putting Ike's game out there, I think, would, would get some purchases. Um, any other obvious ones, or what you think is obvious? Smash Brothers? Oh, that's the other one that they, they that's already come to light, is oh, Melee. Okay. They've already said Melee. Alright. Um, and then there's rumors of the GameCube adapter support for it. Which I think is kind of necessary if you're going to put Melee. And it has USB ports, you know, yeah. so... Yeah, okay, that's a good one. I could forget about that. That's okay. There are issues with that. If you're going to put that on the TV, it's going to have lag. So if you're a pro player, which is, I think, who's the only people who still play Melee, right? Yeah, I It's think not so. going to work. I mean, some people play it for nostalgia. I guess. I, I, th I think everyone would buy it because yeah. it's, like, the most famous one. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, either way, it's it can't be a bad thing. I'm sure people would eat that up, too. Um, what else is over there? Now, for, like, still first-party exclusive stuff, um, kind of two and one. I'm thinking they could do Wave Race, Blue Storm, or 1080. I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't think 1080's first-party, is it? What is that? It is. It's a snowboarding game. Oh. A good one, too. <laughs> um, and Wave Race, Blue Storm, they're both, like, good games that, like aren't expensive or anything like that, but people who had a GameCube, it's, it's a high chance that they had one of those two games. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And then Mario Tennis. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, in my opinion, is the best Mario Tennis. It's the GameCube one. My favorite one. You think they'll do Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles again? <laughs> I don't think it will work. Because no. you, for multiplayer, you had to have your um, Game Boy Advance connected. Yeah. And that was like your second screen or for your inventory. Also, it's not it's not the best game. <laughs> it was not polished. I liked it though. It had like some charm to it. The music was good. It the looked music great. The music was great. Yeah, oh. I I liked it, but it's definitely flawed. Like multiplayer, one player has to carry the chalice. Yeah. I would just as soon as I got the chalice, I just ran in the opposite direction and killed I think everyone. We talked about this, yeah. <laughs> you jerk. But I do like the game, mm -hmm. and uh, that would be cool. But I don't think it's gonna work because you need. Same with Four Swords. You need those Game Boy Advance connectors to play it the way it was done. They'd have to change a lot. And at that point, it's not a virtual console port anymore. It's a, it's a new game that I don't think is worth for them releasing, you know? Well, they obviously will not do Wind Waker because... They had the HD on the Wii U. Yep. And it's perfect on the Wii U. They yeah. can't make it any You know, better. it's same with Twilight Princess. I can't see them doing that either because they also did that on Wii U. Thank God. Ugh. But I have the GameCube one and it's it's the same exact thing as the Wii U one except yeah. the Wii U one's better. So, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I was one of the few people who bought uh, Twilight Princess on the GameCube that I knew. Um, yeah, I, I got it recently, so. Alright, how about some popular, but not as like, we'll not, we'll not get into extremely unlikely yet, like our personal wish list or anything like that, but uh, popular, but kind of off the cuff kind of ones. I'm going to say... Fancy Star. Fancy Star. I'd say that's more of like the third category. Yeah. Yeah, okay. like super wish list, but uh, Soul Calibur 2. <clears throat> oh, yeah! Very, very popular game. I still play it. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. The GameCube was the best version. What? It had Link. He was so cheap. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone, I think the GameCube was rated like the best version. It's Namco, who has a good relationship with Nintendo. Mm -hmm. It looks... I, th I think they could do it. You know, I'd rather have it on a GameCube yeah. controller, but, you know... Um, what else? I'm going to say... Hmm... Tales of Symphonia. They poured it to PS3, but, I mean, if they could do it, that was a popular game, not super, super popular, mm -hmm. but I think would do well, I think people would get it. Were there any Kirby games on the Kirby game? Air Ride. Oh, no, that was not good. I mean, that was actually pretty good. People liked that really? game a lot. Yeah, I'm looking for that one. I didn't like it at all. It was weird. Hmm. Um, I'm going to say WarioWare. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would love Definitely. that. That'd be great. And they ported all of the handheld ones. So I think that'd be a good one. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Custom Robo would be another one. Not as popular, though. Robot like fighting. Chibi Robo? No, 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 no. That's another one. Chibi Robo would that be another. Game. That would be like a. That's an expensive game, too. But oh. Custom Robo uh -huh. is like a robot arena battler. That's really, that was really good. So, like, Mecha Salt? Kinda. More arcade -y. Oh, okay. A lot more arcade -y. Let's see. But Nintendo. Yeah, made by Nintendo. Um, I can't remember many GameCube games. Like, I had the popular ones. I mean, we named a lot. Yeah. So. But, alright. So, I'd say, not gonna happen, but I really wish would happen. Fantasy Star. Yep. You know, it didn't age well, but still, Fantasy Star. You leave it alone. <laughs> I love that game, so. Um, and then Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia, made by Sega. So there's a relationship there. The GameCube won. It was on Dreamcast originally, put it to GameCube. Great game that hasn't seen a, a sequel ever. I'm hoping they put it on there. It gets super popular, they make a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my dream. Did they have any F-Zero games? There was an F-Zero GX. Um, again, I'd rather see a new F-Zero game. Mm. That would be better, but F-Zero GX is a good game. So, that was the last one they made. So, oh, yeah. for the GameCube? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that's what everyone's been railing for, a Metroid and F-Zero. So, we'll see. Well, they gave um, Kid Icarus some some fun. Some 3DS and yeah. Smash, yeah. But that's it. Yeah, I mean, if I was them, I would put every character that's in Smash should get a new game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, except I mean, for Pikachu, he's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. another new game. Uh, no, we just got Sun and Moon. We're I mean, fine. they'll probably get one on the Switch too. So. Oh God. <laughs> More work for me to do, right? Uh, <laughs> yep. Or I can't think of any. Any more, at least off the top of my head. What about you? Nope. I'm, I'm all out. Alright, so what would you guys like to see ported to the Switch from the, for the GameCube Virtual Console? What Let us know in the comments section below. Bye. Bye. Wait, how do I...